Okay. What it said, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Got good morning. people on Facebook. Got people, nobody on Zoom yet, but we got those that still say good morning, everybody. Good morning. We said, good morning, Jesus. Good morning, God the Father. Yes. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, greater spiritual. And we even said good morning to the devil. Amen. Amen. We want to say that we are glad we're here in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God woke us up this morning and started us on our way. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has blessed us. Hallelujah. We come to rejoice. We come to be glad in it. Amen. Because nobody woke us up this morning but the Lord. Amen. Of the Holy Spirit in this place. We will be able to welcome the Holy Spirit. We said, Holy Spirit, just have your way. Just sanctuary, just sanct saturate us in your presence. Amen. Holy Spirit, just fill us one more time with a fresh touch, a fresh anointing. Holy Spirit, just give us, Lord God. We give ourselves a way to be used by you. We let the Shatana glory just fall down on your people right now, Lord God. And we just begin to just bless your holy name, God. We begin to magnify you. We begin to give you glory and honor, Lord God. We begin to, Lord God, to say we love you and we adore you, God. We begin to say, Lord God, that nobody can do us like you. Nobody can do us like the Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that for everything that you are doing in our lives, Lord God. And we wait with anticipation, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit to continue to show up, Lord God. Lord God, we didn't come just to sit, Lord God. We didn't come to be entertained, Lord God. But we came to worship, Lord God. We came to praise your holy name, Lord God. We came to be engaged, Lord God, and worship this morning, Lord God. Because, Lord God, what we give out, Lord God, is often what we receive, Lord God. So we want to give out praise to the most holy God, Lord God. And your word is true. When praises goes up, blessings come down, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we're sending for much blessing this morning, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, use us, Lord God. Let us be an instrument of your glory, Lord God. Let us be shining light, Lord God. For you, Lord God. Shine on us, Lord God, so we can shine in our community, Lord God. And Lord God, we come in to worship you, Lord God. And then, Lord God, we're going to exit out to serve, Lord God. To be a witness for you, Lord God. We don't want to hold everything in, Lord God. But we want to give out, Lord God. Give out to the community. Give out to our family. Give out on our job. Give out to our friends, Lord God. Let the world know for, for God we live and for God we die, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we just pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen and amen. We ask the praise team to come forward this time and lead us in our selection. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love the Lord because he is good. Yeah. And he is a holy God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But most of all, we all know that he is an on-time God. On Amen. Time. Yeah. Help us to sing that song. Amen. Just to bring a sweet countenance upon our Lord's face. Amen. How can we give God some praise before we go on this day? Give us some praise this morning. Just so when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Amen. 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 This song, I think I have not sung for a while, but I'm going to sing it this morning. Is he an on time God? Yes, he is. Is he an on time God? Yes. If you think he's an on time God, Sing this song along with me. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Oh, Lord, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. Well, well, you'll say he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there. Yes, he is. 
fellowship service here at Greater Spiritual. Amen. Welcome those on Facebook. Welcome those on Zoom. Welcome those who will hear us later on. But welcome, welcome, welcome. We felt we uh, we pray that when you came into the building that you felt welcome. Amen. 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 And we pray that when when others came in the building, amen, that you welcome them into the house of the Lord. Amen. Because there's something about being gathered in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 But we just thank God for those who are still gathered on Zoom and gathered on Facebook. Amen. Because the word is getting out. Amen. Amen. This morning I ask you to stand on your feet. And I'm just going to read a short passage of scripture this morning. Coming from the book of Psalms, chapter 51. And I'm going to read verses 16 and 17. Amen. The uh, book of Psalms. Amen. This is David. Amen. Amen. Go to the book of Psalms, chapter 51. Verses 16 and 17 read. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou desirest, I mean, desirest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, thou wilt not despise. Amen. You Amen. may be seated. Amen. This morning, I want to speak on the subject, broken in spirit, and also as a subtopic, good brokenness. Amen. Amen. Broken in spirit. And then good brokenness. Now I come to teach this morning to set somebody free. Amen. Amen. So I don't have any points for you. Amen. I just want to lift up something that the Lord gave me and how he gave it to me. Amen. Amen. So again, I want to talk about being broken in spirit. And also about good brokenness. Sound like that might not go together, but we're going to walk this scripture this morning. Amen? Amen. Amen. Many times, saints, we talk about being hurt, and we talk about being broken. Also, we believe the saying that time heals all wounds. Amen. And we believe that a few comforting words, a little sympathy, will make everything all right. However, howsoever, we don't seem to understand that if when people don't seem to bounce back from their hurt or bounce right back from their brokenness the way we think they should, or as soon as we think they should, amen, we become perplexed, amen. But who are we? to know how long it should take for healing to take place in a person's life Amen. when the healing process varies depending on a person's body, because everybody's body is not the same. Amen. Amen. It depends on a person's I mean, medical conditions. Amen. Amen. Sometimes with diabetes, the healing process is much slower. Amen. Amen. And even uh, it depends on a person's spiritual level. Amen. 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 So what we fail to understand is there is a difference between being hurt and being broken. And the difference is not always visible to human eyes. Amen. Amen. And since we don't understand all that's in play in people's lives, we should not cast judgment on them and say things like, you need to just get saved. You need a little bit more Jesus in your life. You just need to let it go and move on. Again, we never understand the difference between hurt and brokenness, and we never understand what somebody is actually going through. Amen. Many people in our society are being incarcerated mentally, physically, and spiritually. Although free from the human judicial system, they are imprisoned 
in a far crueler and ultimately eternal prison. They are sentenced to a life sentence of emotional emasculation, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, no self-esteem, and all kinds of phobias. Some are even on death row, hooked on deadly narcotics, alcohol. Some are even involved in careless or unsafe sex, amen. Others have been placed in solitary confinement, or dealing with physical pain and discomfort and diseases. They are being held captive behind these seemingly uh, impenetrable bars and escapable walls, being made to believe that this is all there is to life, all because they are broken, they are crushed. Amen. Mm -hmm. So these mentally messed up, emotionally emasculated, and spiritual lost people, including Christians, are aimlessly wandering through life. Busted, disgusted, uh -huh. and broken. <laughs> Their esteem has been broken. Yes. Their reputation has been broken. Yes. That that they are struggling trying to break free, but are unable to come into the freedom that has promised us. So the question I ask all today, mm. has any of you ever been broken? According to the dictionary, hurt is to injure, to feel pain, to become damaged or harm. But broken comes from a Hebrew word called shabar. And it means to crush into pieces, to shatter, to bruise. When you become, you don't function properly. You become disconnected. And you're overwhelmed Amen. sometimes with sorrow. Amen. So I ask the question again. Yes. Has anybody ever been broken? Yes. 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 When we have been broken spiritually, our body can't take it because our mind is confused. And when our mind is confused, yes. our body will break down because our emotions are out of whack. And as a result of being broken, sometimes our body goes through changes. Sometimes our hair falls out, amen. Sometimes our blood pressure shoots sky high, amen. Sometimes we develop diabetes and cancer. Sometimes we get involved with substance abuse and all kinds of things. Listen to this, saints. A broken spirit happens when spirit attacks spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's what's called spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. And when our spirit is under attack, we have to rely on a higher power. Amen. Amen. We have to give it to God. Yes. And yes. have God yes. fight this battle. Amen. Amen. Because we are too weak. And we cannot fight what we cannot see. And so we need to just turn it over yes. to God, yes. to Him. Amen. 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 Now being hurt is heartbreaking. Such as you and so and so have been married for a while. For some reason, you break up. And you experience heartbreak because it hurts you. Yes, heartbreak will make you cry. It might make you lose a sleep a night or two, amen. amen. You might even miss a meal or two. Also, I found that when you're hurt, you can still come to church. You can smile enough to fool everybody. You can still testify and sing and say praise the Lord and pretend that everything is all right. You are faking it, amen. Amen. Because you understand that in time, hurt will heal, the pain will go away. That after some comforting words and show compassion, you will be all right. But on the other hand, sight, being broken. 
is more than a heartbreak. It includes a broken heart, my brothers and sisters. A heartbreak may cause you to cry, but a broken heart may, may cause you to want to die. Amen. When you are broken, you begin sometimes to develop illness that you never had before. You begin to worry, have anxiety attacks, and yes. fretfulness to yes. yes. hatred and malice start to rule you. You begin to feel hopeless and helpless, amen. You begin to think that you are no good, amen. Why? Because you have been broken. You have been beaten down, abused, misused. Mistreated, emasculated, desecrated by the devil, and others way deep down in your spirit. Yes. Not just your feelings have been hurt, saints, but you have sure not been broken. You are not functioning properly. Someone has stepped in because you have been crushed. Amen. And when you have been broken, saints, the scripture that you find yourself so often saying is not weeping may endure for the night and joy comes in the morning. You find yourself quoting Psalms 42 and 11. You will say, why art thou cast down on my spirit? Why is my spirit disquieted within me? Amen? Now I believe that everyone has at some point in their life, dropped a cup or a vase, and a piece of that vase or a, a, a cup chips off. Then you go get the super glue and really? glue the piece back <laughs> in. And after a little time, you can hardly even tell that that cup or vase was damaged. You can continue to use it for whatever reason you was using it before. It can still hold water or whatever you put in it. It was damaged, it was hurt, but okay, is that okay? Yeah. Super glue fix it, amen. amen. But I declare, I decree unto you, if you broke it, it was shattered into a lot of little pieces. And there is no way that you can put it back together again. Because sometimes, you are not able to find some of those pieces. Eh? And somebody knows how to it. And even if we try to put it back together, you will find that some of those pieces don't fit together like they used to. Amen. I don't care how much super glue or duct tape you use. That it was broken. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Why? Oh. Not that it was not hurt or damaged. Mm. It has been shattered right down to the very essence of what it once was. Amen. 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 God sent me today mm. yes, to talk yeah. to those who have been broken. Amen. Amen. Those who have been shattered. <laughs> Those who have been repeated abused and crushed by life and even crushed by people. Those who very fiber of what you once were has been stepped on, abused by devil and the sin that you have done in your life. When you have been broken, you can't see. I feel like going on, amen? Yeah. amen. Because you want to give up, amen. Yeah. amen. You've been broken, you weary, you worn, and you're struggling to hold on. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're about to lose your mind. Amen. amen. You find yourself slipping yes. into darkness. Yeah. You don't want to get out of bed. You don't want to leave the house. Amen. You don't want to ask the phone. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have nothing to do with nobody and nothing, amen. amen. Now, on top of being broken, you begin to feel unloved. You feel like a castaway. You feel that you no longer fit in with 
other peoples, including church people. So you begin to isolate yourself, which is extremely dangerous. Because then the devil has you where he wants you. He understands that where there is unity, there is strength. And but he knows that he separates you, gets you alone, he can devour you. And when you separate yourself, saints, you leave yourself wide open for the devil to do what he wants to do with you. For the devil to have his way with you. And when you separate yourself, you begin to listen to your voice, amen. To those that have ever been broken, you know that voice I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's the voice that says, no one cares about me. Amen. No Amen. one notices the pain well. that I'm feeling. They're going about their merry way. Mm -hmm. No one would notice if I'm gone. So I might as well go ahead and check out right now. Well. But say these are tricks of the devil. Yes. Yes, that he will play on us. When we are broken. That's the reason today why the suicide rate is so high among young people. That's why the homicide rate is so high. That's why the suicide rate is even high among clergymen. Because the devil had took on advantage of the brokenness. And cause themselves, cause them people to act out and divorce them uh, and separate themselves from unity. And he devours them. Because you know, hurt people hurt people. Yes, indeed. Amen. Broken people try to break people. Amen. 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 But the good news is, I'm not just saying to give you bad news on, today, on, but I come to give you some uh -huh. good news yeah. about being broken. And it's found in Psalms 51, 17, which says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, thou wilt not despise. Saints, yes, our spirit might get heavy. But I read in the Bible that God, because he's such a good God. Yes, he, yes, he, he will God. give us a garment of praise oh, yeah. for that spirit of heaviness yeah. and brokenness. Yeah. All we have to do is to give whatever is weighing us down, turn it over to the Lord. Because it's too big for us to handle. But we serve a big God yes, that specializes yes, in our problems. Amen. What are you doing? Yes. Brokenness. At first hearing, brokenness 
does not seem like something to be sought after. After all, it sounds so negative. We may even be afraid of the concept. Perhaps that's because we have a misconception about the meaning of brokenness. You see, our idea of brokenness is quite different from God's idea of being broken. Saints, hear me today. Brokenness is the means through which God performs mm. his deepest work yes, within our hearts. Mm -hmm. A.W. Tozer once said, it is doubtful, doubtful, for the God can bless a man greatly until he has hurt himself deeply by being broken. Likewise, Alan Redpath wrote, when God wants to do an impossible task, he takes an impossible individual and crushes him. Yep. You heard, if you read the scripture that said it, it pleased God to crush Jesus. Amen? Mm -hmm. And it pleases God to crush us. Mm -hmm. I used to say that a Christ, as Christians that we bend, but we don't break. Mm -hmm. But I've come to understand that's not always true things. Mm -hmm. I understand now that there's something that's called good brokenness. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Yes. Elijah coming is the cease of life from years. He told us about good trouble. But the word of God tells us about good brokenness. Amen. All right. Being broken is a gift. Because when we are broken saints, we recognize that we need a savior yes. to make us yes. whole. Yes. Yes. There's a reason mm -hmm. that the sacrifice mm -hmm. Jesus asks us. It's a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Because a broken heart is one that's open to him. It's one that will let in his grace. David said in Psalms 119, I just love the best of David. He said in Psalms 119, 71, he said it was good that he was afflicted. Yeah. Why? He said, because it caused him to really know the word. Sometimes, saints, it's when we are broken that we get in God's word. Amen. It's Amen. broken when we're broken that we draw nigh unto God. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, learn that afflictions, storms, and tribulations, and brokenness all have a ministry in our lives. They don't feel good. I'm not gonna lie to you. They don't feel good, but they are necessary. Amen. Because without them, we won't grow. We will not value the little things, and we will take life and people for granted. Again, brokenness is a path to God blessing us. Because before God can use us greatly. He must break us. Because we have that building propensity to trust in ourselves mm. well, and not God. Well, yeah. In society, anything that is broken is considered of no use. And sometimes we just throw it away. However, in Scripture, God uses things and individuals that are broken. He used the alabaster box after it was broken. He used the Holy Communion bread and broke it, amen. In life, it's the same thing. God uses broken things. He uses broken soil to produce a crop. He uses broken clouds to give us rain. He uses broken grain to give us bread. He uses broken bread to give us strength. And he uses broken people to do great things. Amen. Amen. The Hebrew, Hebrew meaning for break means again to shout, smash, to crush. Again, God's people 
are only ready for revival when they are broken. Remember this. That's what God bruises, God uses. Amen? Amen. Amen. God uses those of us who are flawed. And God chose you because it was in your weaknesses and your brokenness and those mistakes that gave you a voice to reach other people who maybe feel that they don't match you up either. Those that may feel that their mistakes rendered them unusable or that they are far too grown, gone, to have a relationship with him needs us who have been broken. Come on now. And God has mended us. Amen. 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 Because it's because of our mistakes, yes. the mistakes that we made, yes. that God will use us. Amen. Amen. Yes. Our mistakes Amen. in the past prepares us for ministry today and in the future. Amen. 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 Brokenness mm. is a condition during which God allows circumstances to control our lives to the point that we have to say, I yield, I yield. I throw up my hands and surrender, Lord. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Whatever you want me to go, I'll go. Whatever you want me to say, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Use me, Lord. Yeah. I give myself yeah. away to you, to be used. By you. And from both experience and observations, it seems the greater God's plan for a person, the greater the brokenness he requires. Somebody that can shout now, knowing that your brokenness is not in vain. God has some great things in store for you. Amen. He wants to use you mightily, but before he uses you, he has to break you. Before he mess you, amen. amen, he has to give you a oh, message. Yes. Amen. Before you have that testimony, amen. you have to give, give that test. Oh, amen. 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 Then amen. at other times, God used brokenness to get those who already know him to let go of whatever prevents them from experiencing more and more of him. Amen. amen. Sometimes we get too satisfied with our lives, amen. Things are going so good, amen. Family's good. Church is good. Community is good. And we begin to sit down on our laws. But then God, <laughs> he sends some storms your way, amen. To break you, amen. To break up that complacency, amen. 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 To move you yes. from loop to be hot yes. yes. on fire yes. for him. Yes. Amen. Yes. In either case, oh, no. brokenness mm -hmm. means to recognize mm -hmm. that what we have mm -hmm. is not enough. Mm -hmm. Out of a broken vessel, God knows hallelujah, right. that he can fill us mm -hmm. with whatever we need and whatever he desires. Because he wants to get the glory mm -hmm. out of us. All through our brokenness, will the mighty rivers of revival flow continually to touch our families, mm. touch friends and church and nations, and the world for God. Mm. A common sin in our culture is mm -hmm. if it ain't broke, well, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meaning, if it's still tolerable functioning, leave it alone. Well. Many people live their lives by that saying. Their motto is, my life is functioning just fine. So I don't need fixing. I don't have any problems right now that need outside help. Oops. But the devil is a liar. Because yes, what we don't realize is if it ain't broke, God won't fix it. In other words, until you meant you got a problem and that you need fixing, God won't help you with your fixing. Amen? Therefore, can anyone admit that today that you are broken, that your life 
is being shouting. Yes. Can you tell the Lord that you want to present yourself to him today as a living sacrifice so that he may be able to use you more and more? And when we present ourselves to the Lord as a broken vessel, what he does is he takes the pieces and begin to put the pieces back together again. He don't fill it with super glue. He fills it with his love, his power, and his strength. Unlike super glue that may or may not hold, God fills us and gives us a brand new heart. And he restores the joy of our salvation. I want you to know today, saints, mm. that the heart wants to put you back together, together again. Amen. 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 Come on, Father. With the hint yes. of his blood, yes. he will begin to roll out Jesus. all your rough edges. Amen. He'll begin to bust you up. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. you on, Amen. Yes. Yes. So he can prove you yes. worthy yes. and fill you oh, yes. with his precious <laughs> Holy Spirit. Won't he do it? To, to refine silver or gold, mm. one has to hold it over fire yes. and let it heat up. Mm. My Lord. They hold the silver or gold in the middle of the fire yes. where the flames are the hardest to burn. So to burn away all the impurities in that matter. And so saints, in our brokenness, God has to hold us in the middle of some hot spots in life. And the whole time that the silver and gold is in the fire, the refiner has to sit in front of the fire, keeping his eyes on the precious metal the entire time. Because he knows if he leaves that silver or gold in a moment too long, it will be destroyed. Yeah. There's a precise time in amen. And the good news for God's children is that no matter how long it seems that we have been in the fire, some of you sing that song, I've been in the storm too long. Yeah. I've been in the fire too long. But no, amen. God knows, God. and he will not leave us there. Not a minute, not a second, too long. Amen. amen. We saw him this morning, God is a long time. Yes, God, amen. Yes, amen. And so God's refining process when we are broken, amen, is precisely timed. But we need to trust his process. As well as his time. And not give up. Amen? amen. Some of you are ready to give up. Amen. But God is saying hold on. Until the change comes. Hold on. Hold on. Until his process is complete. You see silver or gold. Is refined fully. When the refiner can see his image in it. You see God will send us through the refining fires. Until he's able to receive his image in us. Amen. 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 Once we have been refined, after we have gone through the fire, after the shattered pieces of our once broken life have been put together again, we have an internal transformation. Amen. Then God will bring us forth as pure gold. And then we can't even tell that we have been broken. We're not even the same vessel. Because God's word says that we are in Christ. We are a new creature. Yes. All things are passed away. Yes. You see, we were broken. But now our testimony is we are mended. We've been transformed. We have been delivered. We've been made new. Who did it? God did. God did. Amen. He's the one Amen. that can fix us. Amen. Because of Jesus' nailed yes. scarred hands mm. and his nailed scarred feet. Mm. Because of the crown of thorns on his head. Amen. Because of the wounds in his side. He became ruptured 
And our soul has incorporated his DNA. Yeah. How many remember the tale of Humpty Dumpty? Uh -huh. You see, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men well. couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back again. But today, saints, if you are broken, mom and daddy can't put you back again. Amen. 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 Big mama can't put you back Amen. together again. Amen. The pastor can't put you back together again. Amen. We can pray for you, but when we are broken, yeah. we have to firmly see the face of the cross. Yeah. Because yeah. our name yeah. can put us back together again. Yeah. He can do it, thanks. Yeah, yes, he can. Yeah. He will do it. Yes, he He's able to do it. Yes, and he can yes, do it. Yes. Yes. Do it. Yes. 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 You see, when God put me back together when I was broken, he brought me out, baby. Yes. How many of you did God bring out? Yes. And how many of God put me back together again? How many did he raise up above your enemy? Yes, you were hurt, mistreated, you were broken, but God, he fixed you, he put you back together, won't he do it, somebody talks back to me and says, won't he do it, won't he do it, somebody said, I will trust him on it, that he did it, yeah, Somebody else's game. Your setback 
may lead to somebody else's comeback. Yeah. Your barrier may lead to somebody else's stepping stool. Your defeat yeah. may lead to somebody else's victory. Yeah. Your painful experience may provide somebody else with some wise counsel. Yeah. And your testimony may lead to someone else overcoming and being delivered. Again, God will break you yes, will. to position you. Yeah. He will break you yeah. to promote you. Yeah. He will break you to put you in the right place. Yeah. But when he breaks you, praise God for on Zion. Yeah. He doesn't hurt you. Because when he breaks you, he don't destroy you. He does it with grace. And that's why we can say we are gracefully broken. Amen. So who, so you who are broken, stop by the potter's house. You will be put back together again. You who despair, stop by the potter's house. And you will find comfort there. You who are feeling guilty, stop by the potter's house. And you will be forgiven. You who are fearful, stop by the potter's house. And you can find some peace. You are lonely. Stop by the potter's house. And you will find comfort. You are outcast. Stop by the potter's house. He will welcome you in. You are addicted. Stop by the potter's house. And you will be delivered and healed. You are depressed. Stop by the potter's house. And you will find Joy, yes. You who need mending, stop by the potter's house. He will heal you in on every side. He will keep you from all evil. You who need healing, where it's for physical brokenness, financial brokenness, mental brokenness, or even spiritual brokenness, just stop by the potter's house and you will be blessed. And you who need salvation, please stop by the potter's house. You will see salvation because Jesus was broken and he was bruised. Jesus was crucified and buried for our salvation. But he rose again for our justification. justification. Jesus did it all for us. Jesus is the one that can heal our brokenness. Jesus is the one that can mend our brokenness. Jesus is the one that can make us whole again. Stop by the potter's house. Cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, help me. Lord, I need you. Lord, come see about me. And guess what? His ears are attentive to our cry. And he comes to see about us. He will not pass us back. He will come to see about our children. Because he knows that we are not disposable, but we are worthy. Yes. God bless you, saints. Yes. Amen. Stop out.
Saints. Thank you. Saints, there's somebody today. Yes. Who that anointed word that passes through the Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. That word kept me moving in my seat from the time yes. she opened her mouth Hallelujah. to the time she said before. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Thank you, There's somebody Jesus. today that has been broken. Yes. There's somebody today that want to let go. Yes. yes. And yes. Let God. Yes. Give it all to him. Give it to him. Turn it over. Come believing that he is who he say he is. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a fixer. And he's the one who holds our salvation in the palm of his hand. He became a gateway to the, to the most heavenly father when he gave up his soul in his blood and shed his blood on Calvary. There's someone who needs Jesus today. And if you're that one, don't be afraid. Amen. Don't be afraid to come forward. Amen. Because God will use you, he will take you, and he will yes. fix you. Yes. yes. He will fix your broken and contrite heart. Yes. He will raise you up mm. to be bold for his glory. glory. To glorify him and only him. If you want to walk down the aisle, we'll meet you halfway. If you want to see your Savior one day. The Bible says nobody has seen the face of God and live. So there's nobody living that can tell you what he looks like. Amen. But one day we will go home to glory. And we will experience who he is. My Lord. But it will only happen if you believe. Yes. So is there one today who wants to give their life to Christ? There may be somebody on uh, uh, Facebook today. Mm -hmm. There may be somebody out there watching yeah. that has to touch with that most powerful word. Yeah. 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 Because I know it touched me. Mm. It was like Jeremiah. It was fire, fire. 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 in my home. Yeah. 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 Do not be afraid. Isaiah 51. 41 and 10 says, Fear not. Yes. Mm. For yes. I am not God. Yes. Be not dismayed. Be not dismayed. Mm. Mm. For I will strengthen you. Yes. yes. I will uphold you. Yes. With the right hand of my heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So Thank fear you. not. Thank you, Lord. Is there one Thank you, Lord. who want to give their life to Christ? Mm. My Lord. Is there one who wants to be delivered Jesus. and change you, Thank you Jesus. from the ways that you have and the ways that you have been Ooh. stuck in for so Thank long? You. Is there somebody out there that has been praying and your prayer has not been answered? Mm -hmm. Have you given your life to Christ? Mm. Is there one? Is there one today? There may be somebody who desires a church home. Yes, yes. We here at Greater Spiritual Fellowship Community Church, we welcome you here at Greater Spiritual. You can come by letter. You can come by baptism. You can come by your Christian experience. You can come broken. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. Is there one? Mm -hmm. There will always be an opportunity for you as long as you're breathing. But when you take your last breath and your tongue should cleave to the roof of your mouth, yes. there will be no more chances. Is there one? Opportunity presents itself daily. Good, bad, and indifferent. But this is an opportunity for salvation. Is there one? Because if Jesus don't fix it, it just won't be done. So, Lord, do it for me. There may be a 
Yeah. And to talk about brokenness today, some people are still broken because that father has them a hook, amen. amen. But they refuse to get the help. I'm reminded of the story, this man who was stranded and stuff, you know, and he prayed for somebody to come help him and stuff. And God sent this and God sent that to the helicopter. He sent this and that. I can't remember everything and stuff. And stuff. And then he fell or something like that. And he said, God, I asked you for help. But you didn't come to my rescue. He said, I said this, you refused. I said that, and you refused. And so God is using different ways to help us, amen. amen. To help us to get delivered. Amen. The word will help you get delivered on Sunday morning. But then sometimes you just need the one on one on Monday. Amen. 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 So pray about it. If you have not been coming and you know you need to be there, amen. Amen. Come on out, amen. If somebody got something to say, then they're in the wrong place. They're not there for the right reason. We want everybody that's coming to come to get delivered. Amen. Or to help somebody get delivered. Amen. Amen. So let's get ready to go to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Is there any prayer request? I have a prayer. Mm -hmm. um, I already prayed for my family, and um, I've been going to a lot of funerals. I like to pray for the lost ones that I've been going to. What's the last part? The friends, I've been going to a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. I like to pray for the friends. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Amen. I have a um, prayer request for my girlfriend, Juanita Johnson, um, in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. She's going through chemo. She was diagnosed with lung cancer. Okay. I have a prayer request for Pastor Jeff Hill. Dick and Helene, what's that? Is that is all my people at home? What's your, uh, the one in Florida, what's the name again? Yeah. Lord God, we come to you today. We come, Lord God, as empty pictures before a full fountain, Lord God. Yeah. Asking you, Lord God, to fill us again, Lord God. And we come as broken vessels, Lord God. Asking you, Lord God, to fix us, Lord God. Fill us, Lord God, with your goodness and your mercy, God. Yeah. Lord God, fix every crack and cranny that's yeah. broken, Lord God. Fix broken hearts, Lord God, and crushed spirits, Lord God, today, Lord God. We ask you to mend your people and make them whole, Lord God. Lord God, we just thank you, God, for everything that you're doing, because you're such a good God, Lord God, a good father to your children, Lord God. Yeah. And that's why we said we stretch our hands unto you, Lord God. Yeah. No other hope we know, help we know, because we know if you don't do it, Lord God, it will not be done, Lord yeah. God. So we come crying out to you, Lord God, that we need you, Lord God, to come in, Lord God, and do a work in our lives, Lord God. We are sometimes we are sick and tired of being sick and tired, Lord God. Amen. And we know, Lord God, that you can do something about it, Lord God. And so we go to you, Lord God, the master builder, Lord God. Lord God, you created this body, Lord God, and the warranty on our body does not expire, Lord God. But Lord God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, Lord God. Every day, Lord God, you can heal us and fix us, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we want to be in your will, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, we just continue to ask you, Lord God, to be with Barbara Burroughs, Lord God. Lord God, she's with us on Facebook, Lord God. Lord God, said to relocate for a little while for her and remodeling her apartment, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, for her willingness, Lord God, to steal fellowship, Lord God. Many people took a vacation, Lord God, but we thank you for that. So we ask you to heal her body, Lord God. Heal, Lord God, deliver, Lord God, her family members, Lord God, all who are sick in her life, Lord God. We pray for the Yates family, Lord God, especially lifting up Thomas Yates unto you, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for continued healing over his eyes, Lord God. And as, Lord God, his continued recover, Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you continue, Lord God, 
Keep him in all his ways, Lord God. Keep his family, Lord God. Keep everyone that he loves, Lord God. We ask you to keep his finances, Lord God. We pray for every bereaved family, Lord God, that yes. you will lift them up right now in the name of yes. Jesus, Lord God. That you will comfort their hearts, Lord God. Some of them broken, Lord God, because they have lost that loved one, Lord God. But yes. again, Lord yes. God, send forth your comfort right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Heal, Lord God. Comfort, Lord God. Lift up the countenance, Lord God. Let them not feel cast down, Lord God. Down Lord God. But Lord God, walk alongside them in their grief, Lord God. Comfort, Lord God. We are praying, Lord God, for Juanita Johnson, Lord God. Lord God. Lord God, that's going through chemo, Lord God. And Donna Helberg, Lord God. And others who are going through chemo, Lord God. We lift them up into you, Lord yes, God. Lord. We are praying over their bodies right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. The Lord God, the Lord God, that you would be their strength, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We lift up Doris Kelly, Lord God, that's in the hospital in John Hopkins, Lord God. Lord God, she was having bleeding on her brain, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, that you, the right doctors, Lord God, saw her, Lord God. Lord God, she was in pain from floor to floor, Lord God. And Lord God, because of a pacemaker in her body, Lord God, they were unable, scared to do an MRI, Lord God. But Lord God, we know that you specialize in Lord God. And Lord God, we know, Lord God, that you have the right doctor out there for our case, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we pray that you send it to Doris Kelly right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We are praying for Jamie, Lord God, for her continued healing, Lord God. And Lord God, for her desire to be transported, Lord God, from Florida to Georgia, Lord God. We pray that you make a way, Lord God. Make a way for her, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for Robert McClure, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for his healing, Lord God, for his strength, Lord God. We pray that you will build them up on every leaning side, Lord God. Lord God, let them feel the prayers, Lord God, reaching even down in Florida, Lord God, to his body, Lord God. And we pray for Evan, Lord God, as he continues to recover, Lord God. We pray that you wrap your arms around him, Lord God, provide complete healing for him right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Lord God. We pray for Stacy Jones, Lord God. As Lord God, touch her body, Lord God. She said, pray for me, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we are standing in agreement with her, Lord God, yes. for healing, Lord God. Yes. We are praying, Lord God, that you do what the medicine can't do, Lord God, what the doctor can't do, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for divine help in her life, Lord God. We lift up, Lord God, where neither almost be, Lord God, and Kitty Deets, Lord God. We lift them up unto you, Lord God. You know, Lord God, Lord God, all about the downsides and the uprising, Lord God. You know about the help, Lord God. You know about the struggles, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we just pray that you will move, move in their situation right now, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you provide peace, Lord God, for those who are troubled, that has no peace, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will soothe, Lord God, their angry hearts, Lord God, that you will soothe their bitter hearts, Lord God, and give them, Lord God, a loving disposition, Lord God. Lord God, help them, Lord God, to be free, Lord God, of anger and bitterness, Lord God, and just, just being an all-around, Lord God, disagreeable, Lord God. So, Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, that even you look beyond the faults and see their needs, Lord God. Their need for a savior, the needs for a healer, the need for deliverer, the needs for a friend, Lord God. The need for, Lord God, to do this and that, Lord God, as they are unable to do for themselves, Lord God. And we pray for every caregiver, Lord God. We, Lord God, they're taking care of our loved ones, Lord God. We pray for their patience, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for their stamina, Lord God. Lord God, because we know it's not easy, Lord God, day after day, Lord God. Some, Lord God, cannot even get in the sleep, Lord God, for fear of the loved one will wander off, Lord God. So we pray, Lord God, that you just make ways, Lord God, for Lord God, for, for help, Lord God, help from all directions, Lord God. Sometimes, Lord God, we are looking for help one way, Lord God, and you send it another way, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we pray that you will open the door, Lord God, that we recognize the door that you have opened for us, Lord God, to take care of our loved ones, Lord God. We pray for uh, Lord God for everyone, Lord God. So many people have cancer, Lord God. We pray, for, Lord God, for those who are traveling, Lord God, for traveling grace and mercy, Lord God. We pray for, Lord God, the people for get spiritual rest, Lord God. So many people are tired, Lord God. And, Lord God, they don't get the spirit. The right rest, Lord God. But we pray, Lord God, that we know how to disconnect, Lord God, to shut down, Lord God. And Lord God, to tune in to you, Lord God, that you might be charged 
our battery, Lord God. Lord God, we pray for the upcoming anniversary here, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that it will be all that you yes. want to be, Lord yes. God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray that you will be glorified, Lord yes. God. That you will be magnified, Lord God. I might be, Lord God, the one that they might be honoring, Lord God. But we still honor you, Lord yes. God. Because, Lord God, we want you to be well pleased in the way we worship, Lord God. The way we serve, Lord God. The way, Lord God, we magnify your name, Lord God. And, Lord God, we continue to pray for those who have respiratory problems, Lord God. Well, it might be, Lord God, flu season, or allergy season, Lord God. Lord God, with allergies, asthma season, Lord yes. God. Lord, whatever yes. kind of season is affecting our breathing, Lord God. We put it on the altar right now, Lord yes. God. And Lord yes. God, that you make breathing easy, Lord God. That you shield us, Lord God, Lord. from the dangers, Lord God, of the virus, Lord God, that's still going through, Lord God. We pray for every family that's represented here today, Lord God. Lord God, name by name, Lord God, we call them out and we lift them up into you, Lord God. You know all about them, Lord God. They might not have asked for prayer, Lord God, but Lord God, we are praying in a way, Lord God, that you will move, Lord God, in our houses, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for peace in our homes, Lord God, love in our homes, joy in our homes, Lord God. We pray for our children, our children's children, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for everyone who have these health challenges, Lord God. Lord God, George Davis, Lord God, Felicia Dunstan, Lord God, Larry Thompson, Veronica Bowman, Lord God, and so many others, Shakina Bullock, Lord God, Rosetta Jones. Johnson, Lord God, Lord God, so many having those problems, Lord God. Some have multiple cirrhosis, some have sickle cell, some have cancer, some have diabetes, high blood pressure, Lord God. Some have heart club uh, problems, Lord. Whatever the problem is, Lord God. Again, you are a specialist, Lord yes. God. We call on you for healing, Lord God. Lord God, we pray for those <clears throat> again on dialysis, Lord God. You place that on my heart to lift them up over and over again, Lord God. Those who wait on organ transplants, Lord God. We pray that something will come available to you, them, yes, Lord God. Yes. We pray, Lord God, for the parents who are struggling to raise their children, Lord yes. God, to steer them in the right direction. Yes, Some the children might be grown, Lord God, and they don't want to hear, Lord God. But we are praying, Lord God, that they will listen to wise counsel, yes. Lord God. We pray over their spending, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, of everything part of their life, Lord God. Help them, Lord God, to be wise in their decisions, Lord God. Lord God, that they don't cause pain to their parents, Lord God. We pray for those incarcerated, Lord God. Those who have autism, Lord God. Everybody, Lord God. We pray for, continue to pray much for the missing, Lord God. Pray over this good balance, Lord God. All balance, Lord God. We lift up to you, Lord God. Because, Lord God, you, you want to have, you want us to be peaceful, Lord God. To love one another, Lord God. Lord God, so we have to touch hearts right now and draw out, Lord God. All that hatred, Lord God. Lord God, hatred for others and hatred even for themselves, Lord God. But the word of God tells us to love you and love our neighbors as we love ourselves. But so many, Lord God, they don't even love themselves, Lord God. They are broken, Lord God. They're broken in their spirit, Lord God. They're broken in their minds and their thoughts, Lord God. And so, Lord God, we have to repair that broken up, the wrong thinking, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Yeah. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, for, again, for those incarcerated, Lord God, those who suffer from mental illness, most yes. illness, Lord God. Yes. We plead the blood of Jesus over them right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for sanity in minds, Lord God, clarity in minds, Lord God, peace in our minds, Lord God. Those who are missing, Lord God, we pray for them, Lord God, that they be found, Lord God, the young man in Fort Washington, the, the young people all over, Lord God, bring them back home right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, that young man that went to the hospital in, in Montgomery County, Lord God, who's non-verbal, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that someone, Lord God, recognize him, Lord God, and come and claim him, Lord God. So again, Lord God, protect our people right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for clergy, Lord God. We pray for, I pray for Dr. Bobby Williams and Pastor Daryl Carr and Pastor Carrie Alexander, Lord God. Pastor Darren Pillard, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for Apostle, Lord God, Helen Hunt, Lord God, and others, Lord God. We lift up unto you, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that as they stand up to preach your word, Lord God, that you stand up in them, Lord God. Keep their mind, keep their body, Lord God. Keep them, Lord Lord God, as the shepherd of your sheep, Lord God. Keep us, Lord God, ministering, Lord God, to the people, Lord God. Serving them, Lord God, good food, Lord God, which is your word of God, Lord God. Let us, Lord God, Lord God, not be ashamed, Lord God, to lift up the word and let's not be ashamed to correct, Lord God, those who are going down the wrong path, Lord God, doing the wrong thing, Lord God. You put us here, Lord God. 
to correct, Lord God, to chastise, Lord God, to encourage and exalt, Lord God. So, Lord God, let us be about our Father's business, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord yeah. God. And, Lord God, we just thank you for doing everything, Lord God. We pray for greater spiritual, Lord God. We pray for every family, every member, Lord God. We pray for our resources, Lord God, our finances, Lord God. We pray over this building, Lord God, that you continue to keep it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, because you are the keeper, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We love you, God, and we adore you, God, and we pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Don't forget, I want to meet with everyone. And before I want to meet with everyone, right after this meeting, I mean, after this service. Amen. 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 Amen.